what is up guys my name is Hassan and welcome back everyone today I'm going to show you guys my M1 finance portfolio which is a dividend growth portfolio where I track how much dividend I receive on a month-to-month -month basis anybody can do this anybody can make this chart that I'm about to show you guys as I as Peter Lynch said everyone can do well in the stock market you have the skills the intelligence it doesn't require any education all you have to have is a little bit of patience do a little research and you got it don't worry about it don't panic don't don't irrationally just sell out buy solid companies and just hold on to it investing is as simple as that we make it more complicated than it has to be as always I have to give you guys a quick disclaimer I'm not a financial advisor nor do I know your financial situation it's really important that you do your own due, dil due diligence before you buy any of these companies that I show so it, often a lot of people they follow these youtubers and then they buy Tesla or some odd other companies that are not making money yet and then at the end they're like oh my god why is my stocks going down even though I think Tesla is going to do well in the long run but in the short term I'm staying as far away as possible and like some other companies that people invest are not even profitable so it's really important that you do your research you hold yourself self accountable and you can take a look at some of my companies and it's just a start for you to start your investing journey so I want to show you guys a true I want to share with you guys a true story that was published in the Motley Motley Fool so so this guy uh, this guy named Hayford Hayford at the age of 53 he invest he was receiving he was receiving about fourteen thousand dollars in dividend payment every year which shows that his account was really large and he built it up so fast forward to 2017 he was making almost so if you look he was make he made almost 1 million over 1.1 million thousand just in dividend payment at the end he still got to keep all of his shares so let's take a look at his 30 year plan so in 2000 in 1995 he was receiving around $14,000 by the end of his 30 year plan he was make he was receiving about 80 Five, around eighty thousand dollars in just in dividend payment that year if we if we look at his 30-year chart he really starts off really small but as time goes his dividend charts increases rapidly and that's what happens in the dividend compounding I'm gonna show you guys my chart in a bit another thing I want to point out that it turns out Let's see in the article. It it turns out that Hayford was receiving a dividend payment. His dividend payment have increased about eight point five four percent annually or yearly over the past twenty two years, which is a lot. So that means constantly he's been getting it over eight percent raise every year. I'm pretty sure none of us get eight percent raise every single year. For 22 years as I said earlier anybody can do this and I'm going to show you guys my chart in the month of January I received I received zero dollars in dividend payment so if I'm starting off with zero you guys are also going to start off with zero eventually if you do this if you start adding money into your dividend companies you can also make your chart grow so let's see here so we got January, February, March, April, May. So the month of June, I received about $14.20. So you can see it's getting updated in my chart. And then in July, it increased a little bit more. I received $14.86. Again, my chart is continuing to increase. And then if we look at August, I received about 
$17.56. And this is for doing absolutely nothing. This is just holding my companies. And and that is it. And then September, I received about $18.16. On my chart, my dividend payment have been increasing almost linearly and a nice growth projection even though I'm starting off low just like Hayford when I was mentioned earlier he started off 14,000 was really low compared to his at the end of his cycle he was he was getting around around $80,000 around that age or 90,000 almost around that so that's the goal plan I have a goal I have a set it and every month I add money to it eventually I'll be able to increase my wealth or increase my monthly dividend just by holding at it so in the month of August I received seventeen dollars and fifty six cents now I want to show you guys some of the holdings I have in my M1 finance so currently I have about four thousand seven hundred eighty three dollars and I'm up about three percent so if I look at one day, last day I made zero dollars in dividend payments, but then last one week I made oh wow, last one week I also made uh, zero dollars. So one day zero, last one week I made zero, which is surprising. Let's check one month, I made sixteen dollars. And 32 cents and if I look at one quarter three months which is about fifty six dollars and about 27 holdings at a dividend yield of 4.4 which is a little bit high and it's higher than it should be I want it around at least four percent so in that way I'm not holding on to too many high yield companies so let's hook at some of the top holdings I have. So I have Pambina. I have Pambina uh, VET, which is another oil company pipeline. I have 3M, NVIDIA. I got MMP right here. I got Broadcom. I got, what else? Abbey. I'm not actually going to add any more of Abbey because of their high debt. Uh, Activision, Microsoft, Johnson & Johnson, I'm down about 2%. Pfizer, I'm actually looking to add a lot more of it because I feel that it's at a very good discount and it's a good opportunity. It also has a very high starting yield. Waste Management, Solid Company have... I have Waste Management, Solid Company, International Paper... I don't want to hold this company even though I'm, I'm holding on to it. I'm down 5%. I'm not adding anymore. And as soon as I get a chance, if it goes up a little bit, I'm actually going to sell it. Another, another reason why I want to sell it is because of their high debt. Remember, these are some solid companies. Take a look at it. Do your own due diligence. General Mills. I got Cantor Brands. Macy's. They're, again, they're high debt, great value, but I'm not going to long run. I don't plan on holding it. Texas Instrument, solid company. I'm up almost 40%. Cisco, I'm down. I want to average down on this. I got LIN, Honeywell. This is another company you guys should take a look at. The packaging company. Take a look at that. I got v, VFC, Nokia, uh, Garmin, PetMed. I did another video on it. Take a look at it. Solid company. I'm up already 17%. TPR. And then I have National Instrument Corporation. So take a look at it. Just You can pause the video, do some re research, go on to Yahoo Finance, see if these companies, some of these are companies you want to hold in your portfolio, in your dividend journey. 
or as a growth investor like for example waste management is a solid growth company and it pays a dividend as always guys make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you lasted this long make sure you hit the like button as always thank you for the support see you next time